Doesn't it seem like everywhere you look right now on social media when it comes to morning routines, it's nothing other than overwhelming, complicated crap filled with nothing. I swear to God, every single time I get on social media and I see a video about a new morning routine, the new hack, it involves everything including cold therapy, hot therapy, red light therapy, timeline therapy, counseling therapy, talk therapy, touch therapy, horse therapy, all the therapies out there. And somehow we're meant to be productive and get more things done in our life while we're also trying to focus on creating a huge morning routine. The whole morning routine thing first came across my plate when I was about 23 years old when I first quit my job and I moved to Mexico and I started reading books and learning about it and when I started to apply it into my life I got huge freaking results. That's why in this video I want to go through the exact formula that I use every single day as a bare basic minimum. Doesn't matter where I am in the world, if I have really busy days, if I'm traveling, if I'm in hotels, if I'm on airplanes, I can get this done and so can you. And that way you can actually get into your day, into your business and into your life and start being more productive instead of just busy. This is a topic I talk about quite a bit because I see so many people these days talking about these crazy morning routines that literally last for like three, four, five, six hours where you have to get your meditation in, you have to do all these sorts of things. And if you don't do it, then you're not gonna be as productive, you're not gonna be as, as successful in all these things. But here is a myth that you've gotta know straight away, that the most successful people in the world probably didn't get there by having a really good morning routine. In fact, nearly every successful person I've ever met didn't get to where they are because they had a great morning routine. They probably in the beginning had a story like every single other story out there. They were bootstrapped in their business, they were working 20 hours a day, they were trying to do all these sorts of things. And then eventually, once they got more freedom, once they got more time, once they got more money, then they started to invest into taking it to the next level and have bigger morning routines and really looking after their health. I'm not saying that it's not important at all. What I'm saying is you've got to make sure that you're doing the best thing for you where you are right now based off the results that you want to get. Because there's people like Tony Robbins who are out there that has a huge extensive routine in the morning. He has people that work on him and do all these sorts of things. But there's also people like Alex Formosi who has said he literally gets up, gets a drink of coffee and gets to work right away. And he gets his most productive work done first thing in the morning. So what I want to do is take these two things and blend them and give you the actual thing that I do every single day and the thing that's helped me create financial freedom by 23 and then gone on to do everything else I've done as well. And I call this thing the three by three. This thing is literally going to change your life because you can do it in such small amount of time. You don't have to carry these oxygen machines with you. You don't have to have these red light therapy machines with you. You can do this in your bed. You can do this on an airplane. You can do this in the shower. So let me break it down. The first three is three gratitudes. I try to do this literally before I get out of bed. The first thing I think about, I prime myself now to wake up, open my eyes and focus on something that I'm grateful for, whether it be the sheets I'm laying in, whether it be the view out of, on my balcony, whether it be great weather, whether it be I actually look up and we've got a vision board in our bedroom where I'll, I'll look at awesome things and be grateful for a life that I've created or grateful that I'm alive, grateful that I can use my legs or whatever it might be. But the first thing I think about and I actually focus on is just three things that I'm grateful for. And I know this gets thrown around so freaking much, but it's because it's pretty important important because most people, and this is what I used to do, I would go to bed at night, my phone would be on. So that way, the first thing I did when I woke up, I'd grab my phone and I'd see notifications, I'd see messages, I'd see stories and all these things. And I was completely encased then in social media. And there's been so many studies to actually show now that when we do this, we're getting cheap dopamine and it ruins our circadian rhythm for the following day. So getting on your phone first thing in the morning is the biggest thing that you just got to cancel out right now. So sleep with your phone in airplane mode and switch it. So the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning is just think about three things that you can be totally grateful grateful for right now. This is going to completely change your state. It's going to put you in a higher state of vibration. This just puts me in the best state for the day right away. I'm not stressed. I'm not focused on yesterday. I'm not worried if I slept in or nothing. I'm just in a state of peace, gratitude, love. Everything's good. And I'm focusing on all the great things I have right now. The second three is your three goals. This is super important as well because every single day I'm writing down my three different goals. I've done this since I was about 22 years old. And when I started doing this, everything completely changed because we have this thing in our brain called the reticular activating system. And what this thing does is it will literally go out there and find evidence and information for you based off the things and the information that you're feeding it. So for example, if you write down, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm making a million dollars a year, maybe that's your goal. And that's how you should write them down. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning a million dollars a year in present tense. 
because your unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's fake. So if you can say, I'm so happy and grateful, now that I'm earning a million dollars a year, it's gonna start to visualize and actually feel it as if it's real. And then what the reticular activating system or the RAS starts to then do is look out for opportunities that are in alignment or that could help you get that goal. You and I have probably both bought something brand new, like a new car or new shoes or a new handbag, whatever it might be, and you think no one's got that as well. You're the only person that's got it. And then you buy it, you walk out the store, and next minute you see, you see the car everywhere, you see everyone wearing the same shoes, you see the same handbag, you see it everywhere. Was it there before? Are you just now aware of it because you've actually focused on it and your reticular activating system has gone out there and shown you evidence of the thing that's now in your awareness? The exact same thing is gonna happen with your goals. So when you start writing these things down, you're unconsciously gonna go focus on things and opportunities to bring you closer to that goal. And then my final three thing I do is just three minutes of silence. That's it. Call it meditation, call it visualization, call it whatever you feel like. Some days it's literally just sitting in the shower, complete silence. Some days is when with my music on, on the balcony, getting some, some sunlight, whatever it might be, but it's just three minutes of total silence, just space for me before the craziness of the day just actually begins. Because here's what I know. If I can get these three things done right, you can get this done within the first five to 10 minutes of your day. If you can just get this done, nothing is gonna derail you for the rest of the day. You're setting yourself up for success from here. It's like laying a good foundation. And then once you're actually laying this down and you're doing this, then I would recommend, yes, yeah, start to do a little bit more. I'd recommend start to do some more things for your morning routine. Like why not add in some 20 minutes of meditation? Why not add in the workout? Yeah, why not add in your cold therapy and your saunas and all these different types of things as well? Because this is what I knew. When I was 22, 23 building my business, I was working 12 to 14 hours a day. I did not have time to have a one hour morning routine. What it consisted of was me doing this in my bed in 10 minutes. And then when I get out of my bed, I'm ready to rock and roll. And I was in the car off to work so I could spend the most of my waking hours actually doing something that was building me a future away from what I didn't want. I see a lot of people these days just getting confused with all the information online these days, think that they need to do all this crazy stuff to be successful. But the problem is if you don't have much time already, if you're gonna start filling your life with all these extra things, what you're doing is you're taking away from the hours available you have right now to actually be productive and take yourself out of that life so you can have more time. Once you've got yourself to a position to have a lot more time in your life where you can actually only have to work six hours a day perhaps, then by all means, start focusing on your health and make this the most important thing of your day. But until then, just follow my three by three rule and do this as a bare freaking minimum so you can have a lot more success and be a lot more productive in your life. So if you like this little rant from me today, be sure to hit subscribe, do all the things, share it with a friend because it helps this channel grow. And if you're brand new here, I wanna welcome you to Dream Nation. And until the next episode, guys, go out there and dream out loud.